Tonight at 6, the I-Team is getting answers as St. Johns County residents voice their concerns about their trash. Less than a month after beginning countywide with a new trash service, FCC, that contract could be terminated. That possible termination would come after weeks of residents complaining about delayed pickups or even no pickup at all. However, another local county is preparing to start using FCC for trash pickup, causing some concern for residents about the trouble with trash pickup right now. I-Team investigator John Acebus went looking for answers. It's a toy. It's Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, it's Wolverine. Yeah, I've, we've already come out here multiple times to pick it all up, and we're still dealing with it, with all this. Mara Hickox and her husband Ryan found a few things that were not theirs in their yard. It was supposed to be picked up last week, and it sat until last Sunday. Yes. Okay, so that was about six days. Yeah. Down the road from where they live is Sam Repalone. Even after the trash was picked up, the smell still lingered for days because... I mean, this is what we're left with. It ended up being leftovers for the buzzards that came in. The company that's supposed to be collecting the trash is FCC Environmental Services. It began their services in St. Johns County in August. County Commissioner Henry Dean is not happy. Just a huge stumbling block that I'm sure they would have preferred not to have this difficulty too, but because really it's something that is a failure on their part, then I... I would suggest to you as one commissioner that we should look to uh, look at their contract and consider maybe an offset to pay the two carriers if they come on on an interim basis to make up the difference. Dean tells me a meeting was held Monday with FCC and board chair Sarah Arnold. Arnold put this out on Facebook on Friday. Today marks the end of the seven day cure period. We are contractually obligated to allow FCC to fix the non-performance. And on Monday, a serious discussion will be had with termination as a strong possibility. FCC is also set to start services in Clay County in October. I also would like to address what I'm sure is on all of your minds. What's going on in St. Johns County? FCC leadership, including Vice President of Business Development Charles Merkley, spoke during a meeting with Clay County leaders last week. Our technology failed. Uh, and why did it fail? Uh, we're researching, researching that now. I reached out to Clay County Commissioners Monday to find out if the St. John situation could impact their contract with FCC. I was told in a statement that reads in part, the county is working closely with FCC Environmental to ensure the transition to the new garbage and yard waste service is done to the level we all expect. It goes on to say, as we go through the next several weeks, we will continue to work closely with FCC to make sure all of the steps are completed within the transition plan ahead of the October 1st start date. I Meanwhile, in St. John's there. County, people living in Holly Forest just want to see people picking up their trash and not scavengers. I just don't think they'll, they can handle it. What they did you think? It's already shown us that they can't handle it. John Acebus, Channel 4, The Local Station.